and welcome to AppleZone4.com interviews and dreams. And uh, this week I have with me Patrick. So if you just want to introduce yourself, Patrick. Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, my name is Patrick O'Leary. I'm the CEO of Endreams. Uh, we're a uh, home developer and publisher um, based in Farnborough in the UK. Awesome. So um, for those potentially unaware, who are Endreams? What do they do? Um, we've been around for about four years now. Um, we're sort of set up to try and make pretty innovative stuff. We like to try and do things a little bit different. So um, the first project we did was a game called Z, which was a kind of uh, alternate reality game set inside PlayStation Home, uh, which we absolutely love doing. Uh, it's got a very special place in our hearts. Um, and then since then, we've done uh, you know quite a lot of stuff within PlayStation Home. We've done some projects on uh, Facebook and iPhone as well, but we've kind of kept coming back to home. And at the moment, we're doing an awful lot of stuff. We're really ramping up uh, what we're doing in PlayStation Home. Just a thought, what does End Dreams mean? Where did that come from? That's a good question. Uh, what it really means is uh, it's like in maths when N is any number between zero and infinity. So basically, we have loads and loads of dreams and N hits to infinity. Slightly nerdy, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what we love. Um, so Endreams have been creating home content essentially from start when Home came out in 2008. Can you tell us about any of the other work you've been doing outside of Home? Um, yeah, outside of Home, definitely. We've, um, we've been doing um, a number of projects for brands as well. So uh, the separate parts of the, com- uh, the company uh, called Endreams Unite is now just purely focusing on doing some really cool games for brands. Um, so we've done uh, another big alternate reality game last year called uh, Lewis Hamilton's Secret Life, which was kind of... Uh, 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 the premise was that Lewis Hamilton, the F1 racing driver, uh, kind of had a secret life away from F1 where he basically stole back stolen artworks and, uh, and repatriated them to the museums and places that they've been uh, taken from. So uh, it was a really fun little ARG that ran for about 10 months. And we'll be doing some narrative story based stuff. We did a game called uh, Spirit of Adventure um, on, uh, on Facebook, uh, which ran for about three or four months, which is really interesting as well. So we've been trying a few different things out, but also doing an awful lot of stuff in home. We do the sort of monthly events for uh, Sony Europe. We've done things like Gamescom, Heavy Rain, Fat Princess, Modern Age, Discraft, a whole lot of different stuff. Uh, home TV, which we really enjoyed, which, which I ran for a few months. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was really good. And, and then a few other things, you know, apartments, the musicality space, um, lots of companions, and Aurora now, which we're really proud of. Of course. Uh, how do you feel like PlayStation Home fits into like other platforms? Because you talk about doing not just homes. How do you think home can fit with other integrating into other systems? I think home is going to get better at that as we go over time. I think there hasn't been an awful lot of uh, great examples of that. But you know, even with Z, where we, we tied it into kind of videos and real life events and stuff, you know, mm. it's, it's really possible to link it in. There's no reason why you know home can't be integrated with Facebook and Twitter and social media platforms. There's no reason why we couldn't run a game that ran on you know, iPhone or Android or, and PlayStation Home at the same time. So, you know, I think there's huge potential that the home technology allows us to do a lot of very clever stuff and connect to the web. And you've seen with some of the things we've done in, in home where you can link to websites and do some, some quite nice stuff on there. So, you know, the, the connectivity is there to be used and we certainly plan on doing more stuff that crosses platforms in the future. Well, talking of Z, which is something very close to our hearts, Alpha for since our name basically comes directly from there. Indeed, yeah. Uh, can you see? Can you see there being um, opportunity for things more like Z in the future at home, or creating similar kind of events? Definitely, yeah. It's something that we we really want to do, and we've been working very hard and continue to work very hard to try and make something like that happen. So, yeah, definitely. I think you know, Z, uh, PlayStation Home is perfect for that kind of stuff. We love mixing up, um, you know, mysteries and stories and games, um, you know, like we did with Z, which is great fun. So, yeah, very much. I'm really hopeful that we'll, we'll get something happening soon. Um, but obviously, I can't say any more about that for now. <laughs> Try of course. Hard to um, I really want to show you guys the uh, designs we had for Alpha Zone 4. We've actually got some, we've got some designs somewhere for originally Alpha Zone 4, which can be an additional space in Z. We never got away. No so, yeah, I have to show you that sometime. Ah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that was one of our fears. I remember we were sitting next to one of the little hollow pods. And we came up with the idea of Alpha 4 and said, like, well, what if, there's an, if there is an Alpha 4 behind <laughs> there? We're like, well, we'll just come to that when it happens. We'll just, oh, that's very cool. And I said, oh, yeah, I have to see those. <laughs> so, like, okay, we, we've recently seen a variety of different engines content appearing in home, like uh, Thing in the Box and Nipper and Benji companions and, like, uh, the mobster suits. Where do you get the inspiration for such a variety of products? 
Um, we're all slightly crazy here. Um, <laughs> got a lot of, we've actually got a lot of very, very innovative, very creative people. So basically, we sit down in a big meeting and come up with lots and lots of ideas. I mean, you know, we've got a huge list of things we want to make in home, split into small, medium, and hugely epic. Um, and literally each one of those has got about 20, 30 things on it. And we just go down and think about what we think is going to be most fun, most different. And also, you know, we have to think about what, what might make us money as well. Because if you're a company, you have to have to make a profit or we have to, you know, pay for the, the guys working here. So um, we've got a huge long list of things that we want to make, um, all sorts of different things. And we just try and do things that are a bit different. So, you know, we're not the kind of company that's going to do 50 pairs of shoes or 50 hats. You know, we, we, we'll do some costumes and we'll do some furniture. But we're going to try, we, we really like doing very original stuff as well. And we're going to continue continue to push that as much as we can. Your home's changing really fast at the moment technology wise and we want to be at the forefront of that. Well, you've recently released the Aurora Space in Home. How did you come up with this concept of the um, floating islands and all the visual style of this space? Well, we've got some really strong artists here, so a lot of that came from them, but also I think our, you know, our desire to do something a bit different. I get a bit fed up when you see next gen games and, and you know this happens in some of the home spaces as well and they're photo realistic you know real places just like they might be on on you know where we live and or you know around the world and i just think that particularly with home there's so much potential to do completely different stuff you know something that's a little bit unusual there's no reason to stick to real textures and real walls and real streets so um, you know, I, I think that was one of the inspirations for Aurora was let's do something that's just different and really, you know, really feels different. And I'm so proud because when we started off um, End Dreams doing working in home, you know, we got a little bit of stick sometimes from the Sony guys because our art really wasn't wasn't quite up to scratch. And I think now, <laughs> you know, with Aurora and with the art team we've got here, we're kind of showing that we're capable of doing, you know, some of the best looking spaces in home. We're really pleased with how, how it's turned out. So you've been talking about keeping the Aurora space updated with new content in the future. Like, how regularly you expect thing to be able to push out new content what kind of things can we expect to see well we're really hoping to try and do new content roughly every four weeks it might be slightly longer than this first one because we had an awful lot to do to get aurora just launched there were a lot of hmm. interesting technical challenges with qa and all sorts of things uh, it took a little bit longer than we hoped as you guys probably noticed but um we're yeah we're hoping to update roughly every four weeks um with with something new um, and we've got lots and lots of things planned from, you know, from new elements, new games, new spaces we can go to from there, um, all sorts of bits and pieces. We're going to keep adding new rewards for people to level up um, with the experience, but we'll just be adding lots of lots of new content as well. So, um, you know, I'm not going to give any of it away, unfortunately, today, <laughs> but we've got a huge list of things we want to do. Uh, some some of the stuff we're working on is genuinely, oh my God, that's so cool. So, you know, whilst we're really proud of Aurora, it, it really is just a start. It's really just step one in, in a very, you know, long process and a very exciting process. So, you know, come come 12 months time, you look back at it, I think you'll go, oh my goodness, there wasn't very much there when it launched. So, <laughs> so honestly, we're, we're so excited about the potential and it's great to see so many people in there and, and playing it already. Fantastic. Well, 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 there are a lot of different types of content in home. What kind of content do you like developing the most and what do you, would you like to see more of in home in the future? I like games. I mean, I think I think there's a real push from everybody at Sony to make it a gaming platform, and, and it really is now. And there's, it, there's there's a lot of really good games coming along. And I think you know with with some of the stuff that you might have seen announced at GDC, uh, mm. talking about the 1.5 HDK. You know, there's some amazing technology coming in that's going to allow people to make you know pretty much any kind of game you can think of in home. I mean, you're not going to see anything quite of the scale of uh, you know the big 25 million pound uh, ps3 games yet but mm. it's certainly you know the complexity and the the amount of stuff we can do in there is rising so fast so you're going to see stuff comparable with i think you know some of the best psn games coming out in home and that's what excites me you know making amazingly cool games but also using what makes home unique which is the kind of social aspect and the multiplayer aspect you know and the fact you've got so many great people and just the way home works it's really built it's almost built like a little mmo uh, engine in many ways. So, you know, using that and making some incredibly cool and diverse games uh, is what makes me excited, I think. Do you think a lot of developers are going to move away from PSN to kind of do home stuff now then? Uh, I think it's possible. I mean, you certainly need to know a bit about home and how it works. And, you know, we, we, we're quite lucky because we were in quite early. Um, but yeah, I think that's definitely possible. I think you'll see, I don't think they're, they're necessarily competitive at all. I think you'll see some amazing stuff on PSN and some amazing stuff in home that's just very different from each other. And the home stuff may well use the community and the social and the multiplayer side of it differently to how a PSN game might be. You know, I don't think we'll see so many single player experiences in home, for example, you know, but where, but I, I think the two are going to complement each other well. But yeah, definitely, I think you'll see more bigger games coming in home and you know i can't wait till home has it you know has, has a really huge epic game which i don't think it's had yet it hasn't had its, its big game 
you know, it's Joe Danger or it's uh, Limbo, mm-hmm. or, you know, and I think that's that's coming, and I'm really excited about that. Awesome. So, okay, so one year from now, what do you think people will, will be talking about when they refer to home? I think there's going to be a lot of buzz about home this year. I think, you know, it, it's there have always been a few naysayers about home, and I think, you know, from when it first started, and I think pe- this is the year that people finally realise, oh my God, you know, this is this is actually something very special now. It's really turning into something cool. So I think this is a, this is going to be a really transformative year for home. I think people see it as a proper gaming platform with some properly cool, amazing things to do in there. Um, and hopefully they get a lot more respect from everybody than, than it has, you know, hasn't always had that from some of the hardcore PS3 gamers, and I think that's going to grow rapidly this year. I really, really hope so. Okay, and finally, in one sentence, what can we expect from End Dreams throughout 2011? And we're just going to be pushing it big time. I think, you know, everything we're trying to do in home is going to be 10 times more than we did last year. So 10 times as many things, 10 times the quality, 10 times the size, 10 times the scale. We've got, you know, lots of, like, a few really, really big things, bigger than anything we've done before planned. So that's going to be exciting, plus lots of other cool stuff. So hopefully, you know, everything you see from End Dreams will be innovative and different and cool. And also there'll be some very big, exciting projects coming. So, you know, keep tuned. I think it's going to be a great, you know, a great year, really. And um, certainly going to bring as much as possible to linking into Aurora. So, you know, Aurora is going to evolve and develop uh, quite rapidly. Awesome. I think that was a sentence times 10 as well. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. No problem. My pleasure.